You're watching WMAR 2 News. The rate of coronavirus tests coming back positive in Maryland continues to spike. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. As of this morning's report from the State Health Department, the positivity rate has risen to 9.47%. That's up from 9.15 on Sunday. That rate has not been above 10% since May 29th of last year. There's nearly 2,500 new cases today. 42 more people have been hospitalized with serious cases and 33 more people have died in Maryland from the effects of COVID-19. And there's been problems with the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine in Maryland. And now more than 2,000 people have signed up to get it, even though they're not eligible yet. An email sent to medical workers at a hospital system in Montgomery County was forwarded to family members and other people in the community. And the email did include a link to sign up for a shot of the vaccine, and many of them did. This is from Holy Cross Health System, which has hospitals in Silver Spring and Germantown. A spokeswoman for that health system says at this point, there's only enough vaccines for their workers, so they are canceling the appointments of the more than 2,000 people who signed up but are not eligible yet. And the Ravens are back in the playoffs after beating the Bengals on Sunday. It's going to be a rematch against the Tennessee Titans, who of course knocked the Ravens out of the playoffs last year. Easy win over the Bengals on Sunday. The game against the Titans is set for this coming Sunday afternoon. It's a one o'clock game in Nashville, and you can watch it right here on Channel 2. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Stubborn cloud cover around throughout the day. Temperature wise, we do top out around the low to mid 40s this afternoon and keeping skies mostly cloudy tonight with temperatures dropping off into the upper 20s and the lower 30s across the state. Into your Tuesday, we look to make it back up into the low to mid 40s with that chance for a few raindrops or even a few flurries as we head into your Tuesday afternoon. We have more sunshine to go around for the middle of the work week for both Wednesday and Thursday with highs right around 45 and that chance for rain and snow possible as we wrap up the week. Okay, Stevie, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store or follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.